game that I know fucking about too. Yeah. I, hey, I have an excuse. That's my fucking work. Oh, uh, this is just me scrolling through and I saw the tag drawn out. Like, Wait, huh. what is? We. I, I don't remember what it's called. I mean, I don't. I don't, I don't even I don't know what it is. I'll of fucking it. say it. Yeah, I look at fucking hentai. What the fuck's the problem? There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah. That, well, like, that uh, hentai as about as long ghosts as no having sex with children, that's that's weird. As long as no one opens yeah. the door. Oh, anyone know. watch that? Read that Yandere Moth one, Moth Girl one? Yes. I didn't read it His on purpose. The art's so good, though. It's, it's important uh, for me to mention that called? I do that shit because I code ads that, on adult is that websites. An, is that like an actual fucking like ghost? Oh my god, I, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Just like some random like big titty lady just walking around. Big titty like, lady. Yeah, it's like for yeah, real. It's dude. Uh... Like, what's the? Hey guys, what? welcome to this week's episode of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're yeah, woo. Going in. Uh, woo. By, by the way, to answer your question right now, uh, Lucas, it's it's a uh, call it in English term or uh, English terms it seems called a uh, eight feet tall. You might want to put and... that shit in the fucking not me for work chat, Sergey. Uh, oh, I mean, who the fuck is gonna copy Wait, your what chat is <laughs> Someone? Because there's gonna be like, oh, what the fuck is that? I'm gonna go What do you mean that. you're taking Whoa. your domain back? What does that mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, put that in me, not people. Alright. Oh, I'm taking my domain back? Hell yeah, I'm taking my fucking goddamn domain back. All I see is meme jokes and shit and whatnot. I like, like, is that supposed to be Chloe? I feel like. Meme. Yeah, it's supposed to be Chloe. Anyways, uh, yeah, the, the Japanese urban legend of a tall woman who abducts children. She's eight feet tall and wears a white long dress and makes the sound like going puh, 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 puh. Yeah. Right. She Thanks. also has like a weird face too. It's kind of yeah. fucking weird. It's Man. it's weird that like though like I like nothing against people who get off to that shit. I mean if go. that's your prerogative, go right ahead, but Yo, let's be super real. I'd I'd be DTF with fucking Hisako. Or Sadako. No. Or fucking Kyako, uh, they're really uh, hot. That's but, like almost as bad as D time being like, I wanna fuck the Yandere chick from Future Die. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> D time, I'm sorry Please. if you're listening to this. Well, it's for real. Damn, you just got real. Yeah. Well, what was the other thing too? Uh, the fucking another good example of like that that shit that you were just talking about, Jacob was uh hot ass ghost babes. No, what's that other one? Fuck, man, god damn it. Uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, fucking don't, uh, god damn it, I forgot her name already. Lukoa. Like, god damn. Like, uh, why? Quite Sekodal? Yeah. Yeah, that's, just, that's super that's not Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that's not Japanese, but you know, and that, and you know. Oh, Miss straight Kobayashi. shoulder, yeah. Yeah, like, that shit was just fucking awful. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, and then all of a sudden there's like a like a scene where like it's at nighttime and then he's just like playing with your fucking boobs. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, granted, it's like not like it's not like like groping, we'll just say, but it's more along the lines of, oh, I'm asleep, I'm in a dream, I'm hitting like a volleyball or something. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> what, what? What is this? I'm like. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I had to leave the room. But, <laughs> I was like, I, uh, yeah, it's like, I've, there's been some times where, like, when I watch anime, I'll just, if, I, if I'm, like, not, like, liking it, I'll leave the room. <laughs> I'm like, I can't, I can't push I like how, I, I like how instead of, like, turning, like, closing the tab or whatever, you just, like, <laughs> walk leave, out of the room like leave, leave the computer, computer on and walk away. <laughs> yeah, I just let it end by itself. Is that is that yeah. supposed to be Chloe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> so I am Zarky. I'm gonna introduce everybody else. Uh that's Kopi over there. Hey. It's hi hi for some reason I fucked up. Yeah, you you've already <laughs> fucked it you. up because you're supposed to say our actual first name as well. Oh, are we? Is that what we're doing? Oh. Yeah, because sometimes you don't. None of you call me Sunny. Hey, no, Sunny, what's up? Actually, your actually your nickname right now is uh, Sunny Dylon. Some call you Sunny Dylon now. It's a very Dylon. specific reference. It's it's, <laughs> it's, a, no, it's, it's the no, world's no, most Rick inside ever. joke. One I mean, time, Ricky was like Sunny. 
Dylon, and I was like, what? He's like, and he was like, you know, because you like uh, that one singer guy, and I was like, what? And he was Dylon. like, Bob Dylon. <laughs> and I was Dylon. like, it's Bob Dylan, dude. And he was like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> and we have and a then he guy just, over there. And he was just like, keep oh, calling hi, it Dylon. Everyone. I hope everyone's having a splendid evening, day, morning. Whenever you're listening to this. Is Juan here? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, you just oh, like hijacked it for a bit, and I tried taking it back from you. <laughs> no, and then I stole hey. it back right now in the smoothest of ways. No, not really. Hey, can we talk about that thing that we were talking about last time? What thing? That <laughs> that thing in the desert, and then we kind of oh got god, fair enough. I don't want to. <laughs> Rivers in the desert. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I, no, I, no, 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 no. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> you just look up right now. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm safe. I don't think if you interject or try to say anything about it, you're be good, right? Is this how this works? I don't fucking know, dude. God, that's such a weird picture, and I'm kind of liking it. What's the no, not really. Picture? I looked at it, at it closer. I don't. Zarki, you I can't. Like Zarki, you can't be like, let me tell the story, and then get right, distracted right. by the, your own porn. <laughs> <laughs> huh? God. <laughs> don't worry, I'll edit all of that out. out. Let me just. Sorry, I need to fucking. <coughs> let me mark the fucking sound waves. There you go. I just marked your sound waves. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, have you guys seen Lost Tapes? I know Kelsey has. She's told me. Is that is that where you found out about it? Yeah, that's where I found about it. <laughs> Dang that that makes me way more scared about it because I heard that shit from my fucking grandma, dude. That's I how mean, I know yeah. that shit's fucking real as fuck. All right, bruh. Y you're you're like Indian descent. Of course, <laughs> of course, hearing the real thing of like being told by like someone an elder by of yours is telling you that it's like fuck that. Yeah. But um. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, oh my god! All right. <sighs> you want me to do it? No, no. I'm looking at the photo right now. I'm like her eyes. <laughs> god damn it! All right, I'm gonna close this. <laughs> There we go. All right, nothing. You're good. Oh my god. Don't pay attention to what I'm linking. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. You are so, mostly oh. Anyway, so, guys, welcome to the podcast. That's not safe for the work. fifth time. <laughs> All right. So through, uh, when I was watching the lost tapes, uh, it was it was the episode of the Skinwalker, and that shit freaked fuck out of me. I was like, nope, don't want to go into the desert. <laughs> oh, so... is that the one where, like, it's like the, the spirit person just, like, he can change into, like... Yeah, he, he can morph into a coyote or... That's like... fucking crazy. I was like, when I heard that, I'm like, it's a fucking changeling. So... Like, <laughs> That's a fucking changeling. There's some and crazy then I remember... shit with that. And yeah. then I remembered, like, the campaign with, like, me and, like, uh, my friend Jordan, where he's a changeling, and I was like, oh yeah, I turned into a goblin. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, so you're telling me <laughs> that there's this creature just chilling out in the fucking desert, just tra transforming into a freaking coyote on its own damn will. And it just it feels like, you know what, I'm gonna kill this fucking person. Wait, have you guys, like, is it a creature to you guys? Uh, I've, I've heard that it was a spirit? Oh. Yeah. The way it's portrayed in a thing is like... Yeah, the way it's yeah. portrayed is like a spirit, like slash dude. Okay, because I got like a different story then. Yeah, that's, that's well, I mean, pretty much the same thing. This is a fucking TV show that's like yeah. <laughs> that in the fucking beginning of the show, it's like these are inspired by like little events, and some people, some scientists, or some stupid shit like that. I believe <laughs> it's still true. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I probably have to go look for that thing, but yeah. <laughs> so I, when I finished watching that episode, I. Um, and like it's fucking this white white guy rancher <laughs> that fucking runs him over in his uh, truck or some shit, and his son is video recording that shit. Fuck, I remember that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> We're gonna watch it later. <laughs> uh, I'm, oh, I'm gonna add that to the show chat right now. <laughs> and so fucking, they run it over, and then they're like, "What the hell?" And then you see a fucking coyote to the left of them just walking. As they're trying to get back to their like home in the ranch or whatever, like he just keeps oh. the fucking ra the skinwalker just keeps walking around them, 
fucking scaring the shit out of them. And it's just like, oh my god, I'm so scared. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing the South Park thing where Sam's recording shit. It's like, I'm so scared. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> so the, the reason why I asked Jacob if we can talk about this is because like, when we were driving back from <laughs> picking up Kelsey, <laughs> we, we were like talking about like different horror stories and whatnot. Like he told me that uh that book story in the car too. I was like, well, that's creepy. And I asked him about like the skinwalker, and he was like, yeah, man, that shit's fucking crazy. He's like, told me he's telling me about it, the stories his grandma has told him. And I'm just like, dang. And we were driving in the fucking middle of the like, it's not really desert. It's more like the farming area of California, but still, it's like the middle of fucking nowhere. There's no other lights. Yeah. <laughs> just driving in the fucking dark, fucking pitch yeah. black. <laughs> and we're just like. Should we stop talking about this? And I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so that that was hilarious. And that <laughs> is when you were like fucking loopy. When you oh were, yeah, like, we were also missing a lot of sleep. <laughs> yeah, uh, the yeah, virgin I got from my cool. virgin. Yeah. Holy shit, the virgin that I got from my grandmother is that basically these things are like. Well, uh, firstly, that I'm not supposed to talk about it because if you talk about it, then like there's a chance that anyone that is one nearby can hear it and will come try to kill you because you know what you because you can on, figure out what they are like the toilet paper scene <laughs> only way worse <laughs> i'm still getting there you're fucking killing well i'm glad i'm not next to a desert <laughs> yeah it's pretty fucking desert over here i actually have a fucking coyote problem uh, anyway wait i don't know if i don't like that picture i'll pray i'll pray for you <laughs> these things are like people right they're like witches who have essentially just like fused themselves with demons what the fuck? and like pretty much like she told me not to talk about it because like but you're he... talking about it <laughs> well i don't well, i don't believe this in is, it this is the all the way I said. Are, you don't believe in it and then all of a sudden he's basically <laughs> gonna <laughs> pop up at your window and be like yo man I heard you talking shit and then he's like, I <laughs> anyway not gonna lie I looked out my window too I was like I'm good right <laughs> my shit's fucking these windows are closed motherfucker anyway um <laughs> she said she told me that like hey uh, I'm gonna tell you some shit don't talk about it though alright and I was like what oh, alright and then she was like okay if you ever in your life see a coyote or a deer like walking on its hind legs don't look at it don't engage it pretend it doesn't exist <laughs> well it, dude. because well, there's, there's deer around my part so i guess i'm still screwed <laughs> she didn't even <laughs> she didn't even tell me like what it was actually called i didn't know because she like, like the more you know like the more likely they are to come find you it's kind of like a secret <laughs> society of changelings and pretty much these things like they've made deals with demons so that they can like hear things like beyond all like comprehension and shit well there's a lot of videos of deers walking so they into hear legs. the elder ones just like <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway these things have like dark magic and shit and like are horrible witches and like if like you ever see one and engage it then like it'll like hunt you down and then like capture you Oh my god. And like take it take take you back to like its lair where it will literally like skin you alive and then like wear your flesh and then become you and then have its people take like your family. That's Holy shit. That's literally uh so that you? It, it, so that it it's, spreads it more. Is, it is currently later in the evening and yeah. you know. So thanks for telling <laughs> me that, yep. Yeah, man. Congrats. So imagine me when fucking Zarki is all like, "Oh yeah, these fucking things," and I'm like, "Wait, hold on, wait, are you talking?" <laughs> like he's kind of stopping. He's like, "Wait, are you talking about this?" And <laughs> yeah, because like, his version. I was like, uh, <laughs> "Yeah, actually, yeah, that's." <laughs> I had right? never heard shit about it before, like outside from like grandma. <laughs> listen, grandma knows best. You listen to grandma. Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> you know I fucking am. That's Shit, why man. when you started talking about it, I'm like, I don't want to hear this. That's pretty much all I want to say at this point. I'm yeah, actually, suspicious. you know, here, I, I'll, I'll, change, I'll switch the tracks. And I, it was fucking, it was the same show of fucking Lost Tapes, because, like, it's like, <laughs> Fucking Lost Tapes. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> some, like, it was just a coincidence how it happened. And I was like, so, it was some episode about, like, 
uh, U.S. soldiers being in, like the cave systems of like Iraq or Iran or some shit like that, where like they put like mines and shit, and they're just like kind of like mine sweeping them or whatever, whatever it's called. And so, like in those caves, there's like some like goblin or gremlin, some stupid flying shit <laughs> demon thing. And when I it was, it was like towards the end of the show where it was like um, showing the uh, like how they got hurt or whatever, and it was at the credit point, credit point, and they brought one of the soldiers on. <laughs> and as he was talking, the image stopped, and it was just him, like with his face, like he just looks so sad or whatever. The image just stopped, and the ca the TV, I, I don't know, it just freaked me out because I was like, uh, <laughs> the CR TV just stopped, like producing sound <laughs> and images. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna bet. <laughs> That's, that's the point of like where you're just like okay I'm done yeah man that's where I called it I was like alright can I <laughs> nah no that's that's. I feel like that, like strategically that's what it's made to do is just like scare the crap yeah and I never bothered looking for that episode so I was like was it just the animal planet, planet like their broadcasting like, thing just fucked like, up or I, like, like when they like when you hear about this stuff right you you just like start like you think like a mile a minute and you're like damn like I sure hope that this doesn't happen to me <laughs> like I'm pretty sure like if I like if I ever heard like if I heard about this stuff when I was a kid I would have freaked the hell out I would have been like hell oh, no damn. no <laughs> no I, I mean, mean I granted, dying, granted like like for me, I never really watched like horror movies, and I, I remember I think the one scary thing that I watched when I was a kid was uh, Goosebumps with the marionette. Uh, dude, I wish <laughs> I wish you would have said them for Christmas because that shit freaked me out when I was a kid. I was like, well, nope. you know, hey, well, you know what? Here's the thing: when I was younger, that was actually my favorite movie, and I was oh, never wow. creeped out by it. <laughs> I was never creeped out by it. There was just something about it that was just like I liked it a lot. Like I just love the hot like. Every, to this day, I love Halloween. Like Halloween's like the best. Oh yeah, no, don't get me wrong. Like now, I just love everything that's horror related. Like when Jacob says, "Like oh, we're gonna watch this shitty movie," um, I just kind of laugh at it because they want to see something that's supposed to be like really horrifying or whatever. I just like laugh as everyone else around me is just like in terror, like "Oh my god!" And like, "Why are you laughing?" I'm like, "Dude, it's fucking hilarious." <laughs> like in my mind, I'll think of like the three um, options of like what's gonna happen next in the next scene like is she gonna get chopped or is he gonna get walked past her or is he just gonna just, you know do whatever <laughs> yeah, yeah it's 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 interesting to say the least it's very interesting yeah um like i i want to say like i i don't remember any of the lost tapes episodes but like, Dude, like it, watch it, Shin. <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> i know I'm, i might have to like like take a rain check on it for for right now. <laughs> I I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for something like that. Um, but like along the lines of like that stuff, it's just super. It's just it's interesting to hear, but it's scary to think about. Yeah. Like, um, like I remember I like I watched a, like like when I was in like I think it was like last year i started watching like a lot of the x files and that stuff was whew, like i get it like some of it was like government conspiracy but like some of the scenes in that too were for a time period were like kind of like gruesome and stuff like, i remember like the uh the water leech person thing episode like that thing was creepy that shit's still weird dude yeah, I know. I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. I was like, and then after that, like the episode where, like, they hoarded like the quote aliens end quote in this thing, and they just burned them alive. It was like really messed up too. Was, like, yeah. Oh my god. It was, like, this is awful. But, yeah. Like, like when it came to like scary TV shows, like I never really watched them except for the ones where it's like. People have seen this weird creature in the forest, just sitting there, looking at you, menacingly. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> 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 
Uh, pretty much. And it was just like, for me, I just... I liked watching it. Just Jesus for like... But it freaked the hell out of me. I liked watching it because I liked listening about the story. Like... I'm not going to bring up the topic we just talked about. But... You know, like... I, I read about that. Like, and... Or like, I, did, I watched something about that. So... When I heard it for like the first time, I was like, that's really scary. I'm like, nope, I'm not dealing with that. I'm like, just like when you're a kid, you become cautious of that. And you just start to be like super. Like, like looking at the window in the middle of the night and they're out there. Yeah. Somewhere. Oh my God, dude. Even like. They're coming. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'd be afraid. I'd be like, this is like too, too much for me. Too much. <laughs> So I'd have to like leave. I'd have to like, I, or like, not leave, but like, I would have to like cower under like the bed, like the bed sheets, because I'd be like, no, I'm not, like, I'm not taking a chance. You force field of uh, that is your blanket. <laughs> blanket. I mean, yeah. You're but... unstoppable under like a pile of blankets, dude. No one can hurt you. Wait, why? Why aren't like monsters scared of blankets? I'm not scared of them. They just like you, like punch a pile of blankets, dude. You're not gonna get to the bottom. No force is getting through. You're I invincible. Know, just, I mean, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> that's why they have like things they like, call like security blankets because it's specifically what it's made for, for security. Yeah, it's like security officers like have them and throw them on people have and them. then beat the yeah. shit out of them. <laughs> you feel secure? You feel secure? <clears throat> <laughs> don't don't believe those movies that are uh, <laughs> that show the. Ghosts ripping off the blanket off of you. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> yeah, that, those ghosts can't do shit, dude. They They're just... like, whoa, blanket, town. Ah, shit, well. We're, fucking, we're out I, of our environment. I we guess, gotta wait till next time. Yeah, I guess I just wasted my night doing this shit. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go see what Tom's doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> it got, it got him up on the paranormal tel telephone. Hey, yo, Tom, what's up? What you doing? <laughs> hey, man, I thought you were hunting that one kid tonight. Nah, man, he's under covers, man. Oh, it's fuck, that nigga got blankets? <laughs> 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 Where the fuck are we going with this? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, that's like some Monsters, Inc. shit. Just like... <laughs> if, you've ever, if you've ever watched, like, Monsters, Inc., that, that's that. It's basically that's just like... That. <laughs> that was the whole premise of the movie. It's like... I just go, I just go, like, I just want their screams. I just want to make them scared. And then it's just like, well, that happened. And... <laughs> yeah. He's like, shit, man, he under blankets. We can't scare him. Ain't nothing we can do. Oh, well. Uh, alright. <laughs> oh, God. Shit, I was gonna say something else. Fuck, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, how about uh? <laughs> I'm I'm literally trying to remember like what I was gonna tell you, because <laughs> as you're talking, I was like, oh, I just remembered like something. Oh wait, okay, it, it was not really part of it, but it's something at least. Uh, we should we should probably do some uh, like haunted tours or whatever, some junk. Oh man, fuck that shit. <laughs> I, I, I don't I think I said it on the fucking podcast where I was all like I'd have I'd go in to save you guys remember that? Yeah no that's a lie. No, that's a big old lie. <laughs> it's super not. Go on. No, no, I mean that was it. Oh. <laughs> like I don't want to do that shit and then have to go save you guys from ghosts. Would you come back for someone? I'd go back for you guys. Double back. He's running down the hall. Guys. <laughs> in, oh, no. in that, if I if I run down a hall like doing that thing that kids do where you just spin their arms with my eyes closed and just screaming, those ghosts can't do shit to me, dude. They're gonna be like, "What's up with this retard?" I don't fucking know. I, I can't wait. <laughs> can, can, I, I always thought like I would be like the person like because they played like a lot of like Luigi's Mansion, just grab a vacuum. <laughs> Just, he's gonna go in cosplay. <laughs> he's like, ah! let's go. I freaking love that game. Mario. 
I just like that that like one of the ghosts is like trying to help you find him, and she's like, "Oh, he's here." You want some of this ghost push, Luigi? <laughs> oh god. Oh man, like that or like I used to I watch a lot of Ghostbusters too, so like that wasn't scary for me. I just like I just like Wait. watching it. Go uh oh no, I'm thinking of Ghost Adventure. Ghost Bros. Yeah, Ghostbusters, man. You know. Ghost Bros. Oh wait, no, isn't Ghostbusters something else? Oh wait, oh wait, I'm I'm totally, I'm fucking I'm an idiot. I was you're like, dropping, you're dropping the ball. I, I, dro I dropped the ball real hard. <laughs> yeah, it's a very like, ball droppy episode. I was, it's like I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, Bill Murray popped, uh, guest appeared in fucking Ghost Adventures. <laughs> oh my god. I actually saw the fucking uh, the reboot of Ghostbusters not long ago. Like, maybe Saturday? I, I, I just don't. Like, I tried like watching a little bit of it. Like, Why do you hate women, Lucas? Lucky, because <laughs> I Ever, miss see, this is, and this I miss the story. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> yeah. Because it's like, I'm afraid that like people are going to label me as, oh, you're a woman hater. I'm like, <laughs> you're no. Be like, like, absolutely, I hate women. I, I date them, though, and respect them, and love them, and cherish <laughs> them. But I fucking hate them. <laughs> fucking bitches. Oh but like that's not the point it's just like you know when it when it cur like the movie just to me just seemed very it was forcing it, jokes to be honest uh, i what liked movie? it my only problem is i felt like these are really good comedians who are not being allowed yeah. to be themselves what movie are we talking about uh, now? the new ghostbusters the reboot one like I, oh I yeah like... basically their writing was like really bad yeah but cause... i think they're good actresses and they like their jokes were just very like I feel like their jokes, like, the whole spiel of the movie was, like, we're women, like, you know, but, like, they didn't want to be that way, and I feel like they didn't sign up for that. Yeah. Like, to be actri actresses, like, I guess. Because, like, like was, you know, wasn't was the guy who plays Thor in there, or his brother, or whatever, they look the same, I don't care. They're, like, his brother? practically. I don't Are fucking they? know. Yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah, I saw his face. They like, oh, there's three the of them, actually, I think. Yeah, oh. they all, I think one of them doesn't look the same. Two of them look exactly the same, and one of them looks like them, but like as a baby. He has a baby face, super hard. It's like um. The Hemsworth brothers. Xavier's yeah. like one okay rock fetish. Like the older, the older brother <laughs> looks. The older okay. brother looks really cool and attractive. The middle brother looks like a potato, and the younger brother looks exactly like the older brother. <laughs> Xavier would agree with me. He doesn't want to care. He's right, still he... not here again, by the way, guys. Oh, fucking did, call did him we out. Introduce there. ourselves. Uh, we don't need to be introduced at this point. Don't oh, watch our podcast yeah. in order. Go back to the first one. Yeah, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Zarky slash Will. We already did introductions. Remember, I stole it from you. <laughs> did we? Yes. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dry Guy Thirty Three, and welcome to Jackass. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. No, it'd be. Uh, no, never mind. That's garbage. Anyway, we have fan questions. Oh shit, do we? What? Yes. Whoa. Questions okay. from fans. <laughs> you sure you, you didn't like make two accounts and you just fucking did them yourself? I, I wish I did. That seems like a good idea. No, stop. I can be like Sunny. Why is your dick so big? And I'd be like, "Come on, guys, it's embarrassing." They I didn't call just him. Hear that, though, did I? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. They, they call him Long Dick. Yeah, it's like a noodle. It's really long, but not girthy. <laughs> 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 scary for oh, kids. God. What is this? Scary for kids? Even scary for adults? I, I don't know. <laughs> I just that, that fucking website, dude. It has the fucking uh, what do you even call it? It has Thank those old you, uh, scary storybooks. Yeah. Those ones with the really creepy illustrations yes. that make me want to yeah. pee myself because yes. I like to read them and then I get thought, scared. I, thought there, I, think, I think Guillermo del Toro is actually making movies of those. Yeah. Oh shit, sick. Yeah, I'm actually really excited for that because <clears throat> that, that, I know I remember that from my child. I used to be like, oh my god. <laughs> I, had to, like, story. I have all of this fucking PT data and I don't know where to use it. I I I closed I closed the book 
after looking at a few of them, I'm like, this is you, too. New, new, new. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Kelsey, go ahead. <laughs> Fun fact, so I was, like, really young when those books came out. I was really into them. So I plagiarized the one about the person that had a dog who slept under their bed. Plagiarized it in elementary school, bruh. Won an award. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you still have that reward by any chance? Um, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they're gonna be like, they're gonna come over to Kelsey's house, or Kelp's house, and they're gonna be like, You, you, you plagiarized it. We came back. We're taking back our award. Are they even like kids' books? Because, like, uh, the illustrations yeah. are super disturbing. Like, yeah, they this, are, this story aren't kid. Are. There's one in there where it's all like, bl bloody fingers, bloody fingers. Yeah. Remember that yeah. shit? You remember how that ends? No, I don't remember. He's a, it's like the bloody fingers, and it's like a, like a hippie guitar dude, and he's all like, take it easy, man, get yourself a band aid, and then he continues to play guitar. Oh, yeah, and I remember that. Okay. And then there's one where it's like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, and when I get you, I'm gonna eat you. Yeah, and that, and that shit's in like a hotel room or whatever. And then, like, the dude who finally is, like, brave enough to investigate, like, opens the closet, and it's like a little kid picking his nose. Wait, um, is it- Those is stories it are totally scene? for kids. Yeah. They uh, fuck you up with the artwork, but yeah, they're for kids. <laughs> um, I think that was a point. Like, it was to insinuate that they were super, like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, but, you know. There was a couple of those that I never actually really scaring me. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember, is that is that the are these the books where um like it's a chick who has basically has like a um what do you call it? She has like a tie around her neck or like a ribbon around her oh, neck. Oh yeah, the red ribbon same? story. Red yeah. ribbon, yeah. Yeah. It's like her head just fucking falls off. Uh, so anyone who doesn't know the red ribbon story is spoilers. It's a uh, fucking one of those urban legends where it's basically this dude and he meets like this one chick and she's crazy hot and he's like, Damn, I wanna get at that. So he like, hey girl, what up? And she like, sup, Bowie? And then like, they get together yeah, and shit happens for a while. And he's like, let's get married. And she's like, okay, but like, yo, for real, never take off this ribbon. And he's like, uh, fucking whatever, all right. And then like oh years pass, he gets some puss, they got some kids. And she's getting older and she's getting kind of sick. And like, it, then like one night, like, no, no, wait, like, she gets sick and then she gets over the sickness. Anyway, she, one night she's asleep and then he's all like, man, we married. And, like, I don't know why she always wears this stupid ribbon. She wears it when she's showering. She wears it all the time. Like, what the hell is the deal? You know, I, like, I'm her husband. I can I can take it off. Like, who gives a shit? And then, like, he takes it off, and then, like, her head falls off. Fuck. I, you know what? And then she's like, why? Why, SpongeBob? Why? <laughs> a lot of those are just say... urban legends. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, uh, <laughs> if you've ever played, um... Uh, the Wolf Among Us, that oh, yeah. is actually in there. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Uh, because um, there's one, there's a couple of characters that I think they're like they're used as like prostitutes that they have the ribbon around their neck. Oh and they, yeah. They oh. Can't say it. Yeah. If you bring it up, then like yeah. it takes your head off. Fucking, I really liked the Fables comics up until like the end of like the third arc, and then I just kind of gave up on it. I still read it, but I don't like it. They're coming out with the second uh, season of the Wolf Among Us Telltale games, so I'm actually really excited yeah. for that because that'll be cool. Yeah, be... money, Telltale. I wish they just stopped making other games because I feel like a lot of their stuff they make is like not very great. The I feel Wolf like they did really, really good when they put like all of their eggs in one basket, and now that they've spread themselves thin, like everything they're doing is just getting like, shittier. Bro, Telltale, if you're listening, first sponsor us. I'll yep. play your games. Two. Yes, money. Stop. Two. <laughs> Two, please. Why do you do Game of Thrones? Why? And why Minecraft too? Why? Just tell me why. Everything else was fine. Walking until Dead that point. season three was a mistake. Walking Dead season three wasn't even that bad. It was awful. I just don't really like the characters. I don't know. It was bad. I never played those. <laughs> first Telltale game. Hi, baby was... kitty. Speaking of spooky yeah. stuff, you're a little black cat, and you're spooky, but so cute. Do you hear that statistic Jesus. where like the vast majority of cats in shelters are black cats? Cause no yeah, I know. No, cats. because um, no, I actually went to like an adoption thing with um, Xana once, and like they were all black cats, and they're like, yeah, like because of their genes, like now they're just all coming out black. Oh okay. 
cats, and there's like black is like the dominant gene now. In Is most ca in most cats born, hmm. oh. cool. and then it's like too bad people think they're like the shittiest. Yeah, black cats are cute, and they have they usually have better personalities than normal other cats. I, yeah, my I, cat plays I, fetch and is super good. So I love uh, my my girlfriend's uh, black cat. Like, what a like what a like nice cat to be around. Like. He lets me, like, he, first time I met him, just came up to me, was like, oh, hey, just let me pet him. And I was like, oh, great. I, I don't, I have a, I want to say it's sort of a grudge with cats, because cats apparently don't like me for some reason, and I don't know why, but I'm, like, nice to, like, a lot of animals. So it's just, like, I don't Not I don't nice know. enough, apparently. I guess so. But, I'm too I mean, nice. I, I mean, they're warming up to me, you know, like, they're, they're now, like, my, I go to my friend's house, and, like, my friend's cat will, like, come up to me and be like, hey, what's up, and, like, rub his head against my leg, like they That's always cool. do, but, yeah, I think yeah I like, I, know, yeah. I, I love, like, I want to say, like, now, like, now I like I don't mind ha I'm like I don't mind cats I think cats are like cool I think I mean I'll say that now but then after that watch you're just gonna like you're gonna scratch him and be like fuck this cat cats yeah, suck I hate cats cut it's to like ten minutes work. from now when a cat flies into D time D time uh, Lucas's window and scratches him in the face and leaves D time loves cats so like yeah, he does. I don't think Yeah, he yeah. D time is a uh, very avid cat lover. It's so weird to him just like to be so serious and then just be like, "Oh, Smoochie Kins, oh, I love you so much." Yeah, no, right. Yeah, how you <laughs> going, Tony? <laughs> oh, you kitty. I'm like, oh my god. For the me, like, position of his character. For, yeah, cause he like, as a person, like he's just super serious about everything. I'm like, dude, relax. Uh, but. He's a very logical person, man. Very, very, very logical. It's only logical to love cats. Some might say he's Professor X. <laughs> oh no! The, the season just his choppers are coming. No oh, God. That's like all the sin. They'll come after you for that. I'm pretty sure, yeah. yeah. What uh, is it like, fifty years or whatever before it becomes for use? What are you talking about? I mean, it can't be that bad. It's like they're not putting Wolverine in. Wolverine versus oh. Capcom Infinite. <laughs> 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 I had to bring it up because it's oh like, God. like nobody knows about nobody <laughs> knows about the Ed X Men. Edwin's no not one. here for me to be able to like bounce fight game shit off of, so I don't really bring it up because then you guys swallow FGC. Sorry, I, I no, mean I fine. try. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there is a lot. I'm I, trying to get into it. I really am. <laughs> it's hard. You're gonna get into that DBZ fighters though. I yeah. yeah. I'm not even a Dragon Ball. Z, I'm not yeah. even a Dragon Ball Z fan, and I'm probably gonna get it because it looks really good. <laughs> Just to finish the fucking tangent, uh, I was gonna say that uh, now that I th that when I thought about it, I realized that my girlfriend also has a black cat. But it's not really a cat. I mean, it is, but it was raised so with a bunch of dogs, so it just acts like a dog. That's like our dog. Yeah, the opposite. <laughs> yeah. What were we even talking about? Uh, we were supposed to answer a question, and I think we just got sidetracked. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry it's, question it's time. Question time! Woo! Yay! <laughs> Insert the little uh, the pop, the little pop things that you pull at, at birthday parties. <laughs> yeah! That's not what they sound like. That yeah, is. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Anyway, I think they're called party poppers. <laughs> the first question was going to be, "Hey, do you guys have pets, or is it only Sunny with Frankie?" <laughs> I had pets. I had uh, birds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you're like the only few people I know that actually have birds. 
I actually know quite a few people with brains. I love birds. Birds are cool. Yes. Anyway, yeah, I have. Uh, I guess technically, get here, Zaki. <laughs> <laughs> technically, I have one dog. Uh, but I take care of like all of the dogs that live in my house. Like uh, Frankie is actually my grandma's dog. Uh, she's cool. She's like uh, one of those wiener dogs and a chihuahua. That's that's what she is. She's a mix of wiener dog. It's a chihuahua. The both worlds. A wiener wawa. Yeah. Uh, and then I have Estrella, which is a palm chi. Uh, she's cool. Uh, she's like a weird dog, because like her first year of her life, she lived like outside only, and like in dirt when like didn't even have like a house or anything to chill in. And we live in a super hot desert, and she's super floofy. No, that so, sucks. Yeah, so she's she's a little weird. Like every time she drinks water, because she was so used to like hardly ever having water. She drinks a lot of it, huh? <laughs> She like s gulps down it like as fast as she possibly can, and then immediately chokes. Mm. And I'm just like, dude, like, I constantly refill your water. You don't have to drink it this fast. And then she's like, yeah. <coughs> cat that's like the I have a cat that's like the like the other cats you see eats food all the time. Like, so it's just like chuck like eats that super fast. <laughs> and then uh, I have uh, or my, my brother's dog. Cujo is a uh, chihuahua from, actually straight up from Mexico. My grandma on my father's side of the family, like literally snuck him, s snuck this dog in through the border in her purse Damn. when he was a puppy by getting him drunk on tequila. Oh my god. That is a true story. <laughs> wow. Uh, he ended okay. up in my brother's possession because uh, my uncle who she lived with only had really big dogs like pit bulls and shit oh, and, damn. and he was like a little puppers and they just beat the shit out of him what <laughs> like cause he was I mean, small yeah he's tiny they thought he was a toy you are he's like we are big and tall you are small it's not even like anything malicious on the on his, like the big dog's thing it's just we hit him and then he squeaks like the toy does <laughs> no poor doggo anyway that's how he ended up with us and he, he was all fucked up, too. I feel so bad for that, for Cujo, man. Because, like, to this day, like, because they would pick him up and swing him by his neck, like, if you touch the back of his neck, he just snaps. Like, he's just like, ah! Because, like, he just is traumatized. Traumatized, dude. Yeah, it's fucked up. But he's cool. He's old now, because we got him a couple years ago. He's, like, maybe 12, 13. That's not a couple. <laughs> it's full. Yeah. He's an, old, he's an old dog now. Uh, anyway, but, like, uh, two years ago now, he was still hip and spry and totally knocked up Estrella. So I guess, technically, now he's a citizen. He's got kids born here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, those two puppos that Estrella had are named Maya and Kuma. Maya named after the Killer Instinct character and Kuma named after the Tekken character. Uh, and they are the dogs that I mostly take care of. I'm pretty sure you might have seen it by now if you've been following us. And if you haven't, here's a picture. Ding. Insert picture now. Here, here are my dogs. <laughs> them out. Please insert money. <laughs> uh, all I know is by doing that and having a picture of our my dogs on the fucking cover, we've now just vastly increased the number of views. <laughs> Yeah, I, I buy those puppies. I, I, I wanna, I, I wanna interject real quick that the thumbnail. I was looking for a thumbnail. I was gonna create one, but I was like, I'm just gonna see what YouTube gives me, and it gives me. Frankie That's what I've been doing. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's designed to pick up dogs. <laughs> That's the algorithm. If you have a dog in the thumbnail, or a cute chick. Right? Yeah, is that, is that how that is that how YouTube works, right? Yeah. I, I guess nowadays. <laughs> Anywho, that's how it is. those are my pets. What about you guys? Yes, what? Me? My pets? I have, um, I have some. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I have. Three, I, have I, I would have. 
for for cats, baby kitty. <laughs> no one ever calls her by her name. Her name's Fenrir. No one calls her that. <laughs> My mom occasionally calls her Fen, but only out of spite when she does a bad thing. Mm. Otherwise, it's just baby kitty. Fenrir from <laughs> as long as I've known you. No. Like I didn't know that cat's name was that until like what a month or two ago. I thought baby kitty was Nikki. No. Oh. <laughs> Nikki is Snicky. I thought Nikki was like the middle. Nikki's big, fat, stupid, but he's a baby. Hey! But he's not baby our, kitty material, he's just baby. That's stupid. Yeah, he fell out the window like four times trying to get in because he's so fat. <laughs> he kept trying. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> man, at least he tried. Look, he, His heart was there. <laughs> His body is not <laughs> Also, he's like, like a feral you know. cat, which oh, is weird. I mean, like, when we got him, he was like a little baby, and he'd like sit on a cyclone fence outside our apartment, and meowed our other cat. <laughs> so then I just went and abducted him from outside. Because he would have died. Like, he's not like a resourceful outdoor cat. He would sit in the same place and cry. <laughs> like, that's why he's not that bright. He's uh, trying to get that. Or, like, as soon as he said that, he meowed. He like meowed quietly. Like, you know, the. Kind of they open their mouth but no sound comes out. And he looked at me and walked over to me. I know I called him dummy, I'm sorry. Um then there's Patches, which is the only cat that anyone's ever seen. Yeah, Patches. <laughs> Patches is the cat. You did it did come out. Did it? It's a calico one. Uh wait, uh uh yeah, I remember now. Yeah, it's like my OG cat. Got her like ten years ago. She's super old. Not really, she's only like 11. Not all, that bad. All of our lives are made better by knowing her. <laughs> I know, right? She's super nice and sweet, and another cat's just hot. That's all they, that's all they do. She but they're cool out. to me, and I think they're awesome. But then people come over, like, what happened to your cat that you said was awesome? <laughs> Does she play fetch? I'm like, I won't do it around other people. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Uh, are you go, go back to the car. <laughs> Years of talking up all these cats as the greatest things. We go over there and a single. They, oh, for all we know, she has a single cat. I know how there was. <laughs> and a dog. For all we know, she could be like crazy. Imagine all, all right. these cats. Saw, oh, Xana got to pet baby kitty. Oh, baby kitty. And hold her. <laughs> but I think it's just because, I don't know, baby kitty does, is like really Fair. particular. Maybe baby kitty likes. Likes, I don't know. Oh, she likes whoever she likes because sometimes she likes kids, and I don't understand. Really? Yeah, yeah. Man, kids are the worst. She likes my nephew, except she you know, screams in his kids. face. To be honest, you have to train like the animal to be around kids. Like, yeah, like our dog is pretty good. They he's have around. to be really patient. All he was around kids this weekend and was pulled and stuff. Oh, and he really? just like sat there and was really happy that he was being pet, I guess. Oh. Anyways, we have a dog. His name is Pootie. He's, um, a dumb looking. Smile. He smiles weird. He has underbite. He's one of those dogs that kind of looks like a mop. <laughs> yeah, but not anymore, though. Oh, he got in the haircut? Yeah, oh, I didn't show you guys. No. Oh. That's good for him. Mm. It was hot. <laughs> Giggity. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As we speak, I am uploading a picture. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. No, I'm just gonna put on my my face scrub. Oh. All right. Someone else? What? Anyone else have what? any pets? Oh, yeah, that's, that's... I have. I I own. They're my dogs. I have two dogs. He's... But I take care of my sister's dog. <laughs> That dog would be dead without me. <laughs> like, like nobody feeds it. I'm the only one who goes outside to feed the dogs. I give them the water. I wash them. Like basically, that dog is not considered mine. <laughs> it probably thinks that you're its parent. Yeah. Like literally, like when I walk outside, it'll like, like it'll spin. And then like as I walk, it'll walk next to me. I like my dogs to walk behind me. That's like the coolest feeling, actually. What? <laughs> like, going somewhere and like all of the dogs getting up and following you. 
<laughs> I am alpha dog. Because <laughs> at any point in time, there are four to six dogs in my house. <laughs> and they only want to hang out with me and my brother. Because <laughs> they know you're cool. You're hip. Because you're hip, fresh, and young. Unless my grandma's eating, and then we don't exist. Yeah, that usually happens. <laughs> That's just animals. They're like, food? And my grandma is Ooh. weak to puppy face. Uh, um, I mean, I used to have pets. Now I don't, just because, uh, not really sure why. But right now, just because I, since I'm going to school, and, like, I work just enough for me to, like, be able to feed myself and whatnot, and, like, do other, like, pay bills and whatnot. So it's it'll be hard feeding another mouth. <laughs> but I used to own a Chihuahua, and I, yeah, I think it was just and hamsters. But that was like that was way. Back it's heartbreaking to own a hamster. Yeah. 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 Traumatized. Never own a hamster again. I was traumatized. I bought a little TV bed and it like died everyone. in there. And when it died God. in there, and it was like smiling in its death, and I was like. No. I feel like <laughs> everyone owned a hamster at uh, one point. I haven't. I, th there was this one time where um, we didn't have a proper cage yet, so we had a little desk that we would just like uh, put our hamster in since uh, we couldn't like get the. Please. <laughs> yeah. So when we went to go he, uh, pick him up, he uh, I forgot I forgot whether it was me or my brother, but um, we we went to go pick him up and he bit. Uh, <laughs> said one of us <laughs> and then because our hands were pretty close to the to the desk but we hit the desk by accident and it was one of, it was one of those like a grade school desk where you like you pull it up and like that's like your little cubby or whatever so yeah, had those type of tables so as we knocked it we hit the desk it the desk rocks back to the wall it oh. slams shut the <laughs> the um, oh god the top, and no, I, I, I think our going. I think our little guy had a, I think he, like destroyed his neck and or heart, oh, so he God. like just died in our in front of us. Just gave and him a fucking fatality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel really bad too. <laughs> That's uh, fucked up, dude. That's we amazing. didn't mean to, but he bit us, so it was like, ow, and we hit the desk, <laughs> so, and I'm so, really sad it, about it. It sounds like, it sounds like, like, just because he bit you, deserves You brutally die. murdered <laughs> him. <laughs> I did In the most brutal of humanly ass possible ass. ways. Annihilated. You fucking killer instinct ultra! <laughs> him. Holy fuck. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I didn't. We didn't mean it. We were just like, "Ow, that hurt!" Because it was like a really sharp pinch, and like, it's just, it what, hurts. It, and we're like, "Oh my god, no!" Is this the hamster? Yeah, this this is the hamster. Oh, I remember hamster. we used to own the hamster, and like, they just had to put it in my hand, and, and it proceeded to bite the shit out of me. That shit fucking hurts. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so we're just like, "Ow, oh no, oh, oh no." I mean, and then we we buried him in the backyard because we're like, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I have but, uh, like five dogs buried up in my fucking cactus. Oh Jeez. god, there's really? so many dogs up there. <laughs> <laughs> you have like a grave, like a dog graveyard. Pretty much. Uh, there's. Hard to like take that out. Beans, uh, stubs. <laughs> Brown. Is that even legal? I don't fucking know. To bury a dog, uh, in not in a non, uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's legal. Like illegal? No. I'm pretty uh, sure it's uh, illegal. Who, I mean, who gives a shit? Uh, oh, I'm it's a dog. Right now. I don't know, activists. I don't know. Ah, oh, booty. <laughs> it's so. It's so, it's so... And happy. So who that? Where and where can we pet it? It looks That's so my dog. They what, was here. Why, oh. I, I think it's a picture, maybe, but like the dog looks like it's. Yeah. Oh, he's so happy. He looks so sassy. Ow, baby kitty! Like fuck, you not claw my fucking body. She like tried to climb on me because she couldn't. 
climb the fucking chair. <laughs> My dogs have this magic way. power <laughs> where <laughs> no matter what's happening, if I'm sitting on the couch or watching a movie with the waifu or like trying to sleep, they know how to just force all of their body weight to the like very like fronts of their paws and just destroy my testicles. <laughs> oh, 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 like it happens on like, like not even on a weekly basis. It happens like two to three times a week. You yeah, we should you should find by yourself like a cup. I mean, going. like, like it's never like they'll be climbing on me and I don't really give a shit, and then they'll be like near my crotch and I'll just be like, Ugh. and then like. <laughs> The other dog will jump from like the side of like the couch onto my testicles, and it's like, oh god, <laughs> he caught me unaware. Quick, <laughs> go for the testicles. <laughs> they know at this well, point. Sure. It's it's happening too it's often. Like it's like that episode of uh, Rick and Morty where I'm like testicles. Where are my testicles, <laughs> Summer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this got really dark. This is a <laughs> this is a deep path. Actually, <laughs> uh, Elmo. Uh, no, oh. Mr. 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 Fickles, I think? No, that was my slave name. You shall oh, call God. me Snowball because my fur is white and fluffy. <laughs> Actually, uh, at some point when I did have a uh, Rick and Morty, sponsor us? Shut up, Rick Rowland. <laughs> uh, Justin Rowland is going to sponsor us anything. He barely <laughs> just got the Szechuan sauce bottle from McDonald's. <laughs> that two-gallon bottle, of, or jug, or whatever. A Szechuan sauce. <laughs> anyway, go on. Oh, um, what I was gonna say is that at some point I was able to train my Chihuahua <laughs> to like just follow me without um, the leash. Cause uh, in the neighborhood I used to live in, it was like you just had like they were chill with like you know you can have your dog without a leash or whatever, as long as like you watch them and you fucking grab them before they do anything crazy. But at some point, like I I got up, I would like there was like an overlook. Um, cause, uh, what's it called? Yeah, there's some like overlook that you can look at over the valley and whatnot. So like, I walked over there. And I was like, I was like, all right. I would like train her like from the times that I would do that. I was like, all right, follow, come on. Like, I would just like tap my leg or whatever, and she like followed behind me. I'm like, yes, yes, it's working. I'm gonna train her like Pokemon. <laughs> She'll be right <laughs> behind me like Pikachu. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes she would stray off, but I'd be like, hey. I forgot her name. Uh, I think it was Lily. Yeah, it was Lily. He's like, "Hey, Lily, come on." Yeah, that's my that's, that's my small <laughs> that's, story. That's your pet story. Let's okay. see. Okay. Uh. Well, I used to um. Have you, you mentioned pets. earlier that you had birds. Yeah. And they were all like. I had. Dee, 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 dee. I I. I all right, here's my thing. I've had birds for uh, a very long time, and I, I, I really did enjoy their company. They, they were like I regarded them as like practically my friends. Uh, I, I had three cockatiels. Um, I, I love them all to bits. Some of them, <laughs> some of them were feistier than others. Others were like, I tried to be uh, like, I tried to like, get them out of the cage and like, just kind of like, chill out on my shoulder or, like, chill out on my room. I had one that was a uh, they refer to the color of the like, the cocktail as a Lutino so it was a, uh, like, white and yellow and orange. That was for like, the primary colors of her. It was a her. We didn't know I named it Buddy. I was like, oh, it's just the name of Buddy. And all of a sudden, laid eggs. And I was like, never mind, you're a girl now. I don't know what to call you. <laughs> That's usually how you find out sometimes. You just, you're just like, oh, uh, well, yeah. Uh, like, I don't know what exactly you are, but, you know, I'm going to call you this. And this will be your name. And then, you know, it kind of, but I absolutely adored that bird. Like, that bird, like, was friendly. It was, like, kind. It would just chill out in my room. It would just chill out my shoulder and I'd like play video games uh, with them. And it was just it was just fun to have 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 her around because it, it, it was always fun. Like I remember 
on my laptop. She'd literally walk on top of my laptop and start prying off my like fucking keyboard keys. <laughs> I'm like, wait, stop! What are you doing? And he's just pried off a key. I'm like, no! I'm like, why'd you do that? Can you reattach the uh, laptop yeah, yeah. key? Okay. Yeah, so it wasn't that bad. It wasn't like to the point of like, no, you're breaking it. It's gone. It was just like, no, what are you doing? Stop it. Um. Then like the other two, I, they were gray. With uh, it was the primary colors were gray, yellow, and orange. So, um, like I like those birds. One of them was like a boy, and I could tell because the boys usually tend to like sing a lot more and they're like they're the ones that make a lot of like the noise so this one used to like cat call and used to say its name and stuff like that it was really funny um but like you know he was kind of he was kind of like you know hey i'm a guy like leave like i'm the tough guy you know what i mean <laughs> out of everyone mm -hmm. and uh it was just like that bird is really funny but like Though, like, that one and the other one that, uh, which was a girl, too, I named, I named the gray one Jesper, because I knew it was a boy, so I named him Jesper, and I named, uh, the girl, uh, Jacqueline, I think it was. So, I, 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 I love those birds, but they were... Like, Jacqueline's problem was you can't take her out of the cage because then she would start to get, like, practically hyperventilate. So I kind of, like, had to, like, leave her in the cage and then, you know, I would change her food and I would try to... Like, the thing with birds is, like, obviously they're very flighty. They're, you know, they're yes. not used to, like, humans. Birds fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got what I was going uh, there. But, yeah. What I was doing. They, but, they, like, they can get pretty nervous. My friend yeah. has a bird. And like, if there's a broom in the room, it'll just attack it. The what? The broom? Yeah. Yeah, like brooms, it just hates brooms. So peculiar. Yeah. Yeah, that that's how birds are. That's 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 just how they are. Um, but yeah, it was like along the lines of like I I love those birds to death, and that was and like one of them flew away, which was really sad, because it was like my favorite one. Cause like I could just take it was Buddy. Buddy flew away. That was a really sad moment there. I kind of had to like go in my room and you know kind of. I did. I'll be honest. I cried like I cried a little bit. Kind of hard. Hey man, um, it's fine. You can. It's okay to cry. But it's Nothing like to be embarrassed. Yeah, and then like the other two like died from like health complications that we didn't know about until like well we found out the hard way but yeah i don't really have pets right now i wish i had birds again but i don't know um as of right now i don't have any i've heard that like birds can get really talkative yeah uh they can get what i didn't think talkative, I talkative. They can, but it depends on what, like, some breeds are talkative than others. Like, the That's girls for, like, cockatiels, they'll, they'll squawk, but they won't, like, they won't, like, make, like, specific noises. Just like, like personality for, stuff, I'd assume. Yeah. Uh, but, like, the boys will, like, talk more. Uh, like, the loudest birds right now that I know of are, like, sun conures and, like, cockatoos, which are obviously, like, the bigger birds. Like, the bigger birds can get really loud. Um, but, yeah, the birds can be loud. Like, sun conures are, like, for me, the loudest, because they scream, and it's like, like, bloody murder. <laughs> it's like, chillax. And they're, they're, they'll be fine. It's not like they're, like, dying. They're just scream so yeah. loud. All right, uh... Yeah, cock cockatiels just squawk a lot. So that's Especially it. We're getting a little late. Uh, maybe we should answer one more question and wrap this up. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> Sorry to cut you off there. No, that's fine. <coughs> you gotta uh, do what you gotta do, man. I'm not worried about uh, it. That one's better with Xavier. Uh, 
what are some things that you guys love and are passionate about? And then, oh, that's a heavy question. Uh, do you guys have relationship advice? Damn. Fucking dick. <laughs> and, uh, follow your heart. Oh, uh, here's follow an easy one. Follow your heart, follow your dick. <laughs> <laughs> here's an easy one. Uh, right. If that you were in a fighting game, what game would you be in, and what kind of character would you be? Uh, oh, wait, is, oh wait, is that? That's a good. Th that one's that one's not hard. Yeah, yeah it's not hard. So we can finish um, this up pretty quick. Uh, keep it simple. Uh, two D fighter grappler. Um. I'll probably say two D fighter uh, keyboard. Shit. Uh, it's fucking ba fucking Beowulf from Skullgirls. Uh, two D fighter a grappler. Rockdown. Like, what is he do? He's like a pseudo rushdown grappler. Yeah. It's weird trying to beat fucking uh Maria, right? Maria? Marie. Marie, yeah, for, <laughs> with his fucking moveset. I was like, oh this is hard. <laughs> All you gotta do is jump fucking chair. Just just Yeah. I thought I was uh, what about uh, jump heavies? Yeah, jump heavies. I'll fuck as soon as I finish recording those, I'll start uploading them. I wanna get them all done and then upload them all at once pretty much. So that they're all there. The whole series. Cause I'm gonna, I'm playing Skullgirls the way mode. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just have haven't really had a, time to record. They have like a co-op, uh, or play co-op thing. Yeah, Borderlands. Borderlands. <laughs> yeah. You ever like finish plans. like editing that? <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, what? No, I'm like just like. Are you guys just not gonna? Did he cut out? I think he cut out. I think he cut out. Did I cut out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Said, did, did we start and then something? Oh, I mean, like, you guys should, like, like we... Like, <laughs> That's the end of this podcast, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go on another fucking tangent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, shill, no, like, follow, subscribe. Follow, yeah. Uh, go to Suki Sings and compliment his sexy voice. Oh, yeah, didn't he... Oh, no, wait, no. Um... Uh, I'm pretty sure Kelsey also has a YouTube uh, like that. Um, she does. Actually, her. You're the only person to answer the fighting game question. Uh, no, all, all of us except all you, us. I except think. Except for me. I thought can you were AFK. The, can I be the 12th Kasumi? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I want. Uh, okay. That's, that's, that's great. <laughs> so yeah, go, go, go check us out. You know. Check yeah. out some other things. If you have any questions... Uh, you can ask them at um, themoistcast at gmail.com uh, what was that website again? themoistcast at gmail.com yeah, yeah. alright guys it's not, a, it's not a website that's an email you're an email